What's up, everybody? Happy New Year to you. Brandon Williams here with you. I'm Coldwell Banker, cell number 443-810-5612. The office located at Fells Point is 410-327-2200. And here I am with you all today in my newly rearranged office slash notebook reading work corner. Hope you like what I did there. Um, and my new desk that I just bought last night and assembled this morning. And little brief background on what's going on here. Um, the photo right above is my high school graduation, which is creeping up on 13 years now. Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, go Parrots, go Engineers, and all that good stuff. I think I wore my high school shirt in the last one. I did. Um, and got some of my books that I've read here, my dictionaries, all that good stuff. Likes all stay clean, index cards. Um, got my laptop pulled up with the NAR. Um, where the numbers that I'm going to serve you all in a few. So just a quick update on what we have going on in my office and work corner. Um, it's all about just a refreshing vibe to kick off the new year for some positivity and just get the production um, train steamrolling and just not stop. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful new year with your loved ones, a safe new year. And we're going to kick it off for what we're doing here today. So what I have here for you today is the first of a series of Wild Move to Baltimore, Maryland, Part 1. And including in this series today would be the acronym P-O-B, standing for the Port of Baltimore. And I did a little bit of research about the P-O-B because I wanted to see what correlations or what numbers or ideas I can get that ports have with the real estate market in addition to the local economies in general. And while my research isn't too in-depth and too deep, it's just, once again, to provide value, to prompt you to possibly get some more information or lead you into direction to get some information that's beneficial to yourself or others. So the Port of Baltimore is one of many in the United States of America. And the top 10 i'm gonna try to give you as many as i can off the top of my head the first three no specific order would be california long beach oakland and la you have SeaTac, which is seattle tacoma richmond um i'm sorry is virginia but i don't know if richmond is the actual location but that's five there you have houston the new york jersey savannah georgia and uh, that's eight uh South Carolina, if I didn't say that, and Baltimore, I own, we rank ninth as far as money value that goes through and 11th in tons that pass through. And this is in 2018, according to the article that I read. All numbers and things that I mentioned, I will include the websites in the description and just to the Realtor National website with the numbers that I'm bringing at the end. So a few things about Ports, the pros and cons. So a few pros of the ports would be you have, you can transport um, large volume um, orders. You can transport dangerous and flammable goods easier. You work with more closely allied nations because internationally is how mostly ports are used. And you have things such as secure trade operations, and so forth. Some of the cons you would have been that it's a maritime transport on the sea. Waves or the ocean might eat it up or the weather might slow it down. And when it reaches land, it find its, de its final destination may need rail or road, which is also a pro because you can throw it on a rail or throw it on a truck and move it that way to each his own tomato, tomato, however you see that. So those are a few of the pros and cons of the maritime transport. A few statistics and facts about our own here. Um, in 2018, it was a record year for the Port of Baltimore, in addition to other ports across the nation. Um, here, um, the Port of Baltimore, we have private and we have state-owned portions. Um, there was a 43 million ton import and export through the port that set um, the previous record from 1974, of which number I don't have, my apologies. And as far as tonnage that passed through, it was a 59.7 billion tonnage that passed through 
in foreign cargo. That was, I'm sorry, not tons, money. Money as far as $59.7 billion in foreign cargo passed throughout the port. And what I did was look and see what we have that helps. Once again, our economy and local economies such as PA, Ohio, and Virginia, which would be certain places that our port services once it's here. And we send car auto parts to Detroit. And interestingly enough, there were nuclear casts that passed through in previous years that went to Russia, the UK, and South Africa. Really um, if, um, interesting information to pull up. Once again, I'll provide the information at the end. So, like I said, I want to keep things quick and also valuable as well. So the part that I wanted to do to tie all these things together, see how we're correlated in the markets that these ports serve. And you, once again, you have the Houston market. I'm going to look over at these numbers here. The Houston market, you have the 349 median value. These numbers come from, I think, quarter three um, from 2022, because I'm not sure 2022 quarter four numbers are up yet. So you have VA, which is a 320. I looked at Virginia Beach, by the way, which is a 327 value. Um, these are all 100,000 numbers, by the way. Um, two different locations that I looked at in South Carolina. You have Charleston at 416, and you have Columbia at 278. The SeaTac area was at a 724. I'm sorry, 741 median home average, which is. A lot. Um, I didn't bother to bring up the California or the New York Jersey one simply because if you have an etching of an idea of what home prices look like in America, those areas are a lot to deal with. And finally, coming in the area that we are serving in and I am serving in will be the Baltimore, Towson, Columbia area, as well as the addition to Maryland, but that's just what they gave me. We have a 390.6 median home average. So that's my message here, everyone. Shout out to all those ports doing great things for the country and everyone else involved in those areas. But the home prices that we have here is pretty good rival to what they have there. Um, if you have any questions, any concerns about real estate in Maryland or Baltimore, feel free to hit me up. And like I said, this is a series that I want to kick off that I hope is beneficial to everyone and you learn something and you can help someone else. Peace, love, and blessings to you all. Happy New Year. Thank you.